Hello, my name is Dennis McCarthy, and this video is going to explain exactly why we know that Thomas North wrote Shakespeare's source plays. We're going to explain everything in detail so it's all clear, and we're even going to go through some smoking guns that I believe show beyond all reasonable doubt that Thomas North was indeed the author of Shakespeare's source plays. We're going to break down this video into six major parts. The first one is going to show that Shakespeare did indeed use source plays. This is something that all scholars know. Numerous records established that early versions of Shakespeare plays existed long before Shakespeare could have written them. The question is not whether these plays existed. The only question is who wrote them. The second section will reveal newfound receipts and documents confirming Thomas North was a playwright. He was a master of revels at his university law school, Lincoln's Inn, and wrote plays for decades for the Earl of Leicester's Theatre Company. We will also learn why, as with the majority of plays in Elizabethan England, none of Lesterman's plays were ever published and all are now lost. Three, I will show how satirists of the era repeatedly identified Thomas North as the author of Shakespeare's plays. For example, spoofing him as English Seneca, the author of the first Hamlet. Four, that there's hundreds of North passages that appear in the Shakespeare canon. That's North's passage on the left, Shakespeare's on the right. The words in red and bold are shared. These borrowings appear in every play Shakespeare ever wrote and derive from everything North ever wrote, including his unpublished text. We will even look at the most notorious examples of plagiarism in history. But the fact remains, no other writer has borrowed more from another writer than Shakespeare has from North, and it's not even close. We will include a brief discussion of forensic linguistics showing that we can now necessarily link certain passages together to a greater certainty than that provided by DNA analysis. And again, we will confirm quite clearly that throughout the history of the English language, no published author has ever borrowed more from an earlier writer than Shakespeare has from North. Part 5 will show that North did not just write the plays, he lived the plays. We will see that Lady Macbeth was based on North's half-sister. Rosalind, the beloved heroine of As You Like It, is his daughter. And that if you place every play in the canon along the timeline of its origination, you recreate North's life year by year, play by play, for nearly five decades. In the final section... We'll focus on the smoking guns. Recent discoveries that have made news reports around the world, including the front page of the New York Times and a cover story for Boston Globe magazine. This includes George North's signed manuscript with no known copies that was an important source for Shakespeare plays and kept at North Family Library. Another smoking gun, Shakespeare's plays from the 1590s include borrowings from North's last translation before North ever published it. For example, Richard II, first published in 1597, includes passages on grief that come from Norse Nepo's lives, which would not be published till five years later. In other words, the playwright had access to North's personal papers. Even more significantly, we have found Thomas North's handwritten unpublished travel journal, and North clearly reused his entries in the experiences that they described in the plays, this includes many scenes in Henry VIII and The Winter's Tale. In fact, North's trip was a kind of winter's tale and helps us to understand the play as an allegory for the life of Queen Mary, focusing on the divorce of her mother Catherine and filled with the stunning visuals and experiences of North's trip to Rome. Finally, most significantly of all, we've now found North's own personal annotated copy of his own Dial of Princes, and he repeatedly underscored the very passages and lines he would use in the plays. Indeed, it was his personal workbook of the plays that he was writing or revising at the time, like Macbeth, Arden of Faversham, and The Taming of the Shrew. These are just some of the smoking guns. Three personal texts of North, and the fourth, a North family manuscript, all of which were accessible only to Thomas, and all of them were important sources for the plays. The conclusion will summarize this evidence, stressing that yes, Shakespeare did indeed adapt earlier plays, that Thomas North is the one that literary insiders identified as the author of Shakespeare's old plays, Thomas North's passages and his life are found throughout the plays, 
and as his journal, his marginal notes, and other smoking guns confirm, Thomas North is the only one who could possibly have written these early plays.